these are the people investigating the Clinton email situation. The conclusions in your four-page summary, you think, accurately reflect his bottom line on collusion. Is that correct? Yes. And you can read it for yourself if you got any doubt. As to obstruction of justice, were you surprised he was going to let you decide? Uh, yes, I was surprised. I, I, uh, I think the very perp the function he was carrying out, the, the prosecutive and investigative and prosecutive function, is performed for the purpose of making that How many people did he question. actually indict? Do you know? I can't remember off the top of my head. It was a lot. Yeah. By stay stating that Manafort was quote a brave man. The thing that was confusing to me is that the investigation carried on for a while as additional episodes were were looked into, episodes right. involving the president. And so my question is, uh, or was, why were those investigated if at the end of the day you weren't going to reach a decision on them? So did you consult uh, Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein about the obstruction matter? Constantly, yeah. So was he in agreement with your decision not to proceed forward? Yes. Uh, you know, it's a little early for me to commit completely, but I envision some kind of uh, reporting at the end of this. What, I, what really struck me, Mr. Mueller wrote that your letter threatened to undermine a central purpose for which the department appointed the special counsel to assure full public confidence in the outcome of the investigation. Why did you testify on April 9th that you didn't know the concerns being expressed by Mueller's team? when in fact you had heard those concerns directly from Mr. Mueller two weeks before. Mueller had never told me that, that, my, that the f expression of, of the findings was inaccurate, but I did then volunteer that I thought they were talking about the desire to have more information put out. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't my purpose to put out more information. Well, Mr. Barr, your, I feel your answer was purposely misleading, and I think others do too. Uh, let me ask you another one. You said the president is fully cooperating with an investigation. But his attorney had told a defendant he'd be taken care of if he didn't cooperate with the investigation. Is there a conflict in that? I'm sorry, could you just repeat Both that? Both Mr. Manafort and Mr. Cohen were told by Trump's personal attorney they'd be taken care of uh, if they uh, did not cooperate. You said that the president was fully cooperating. Is there a conflict there? Yes or no? No. I'll just say this, uh, Mr. Barr. If you received a letter from Bob Mueller a few days after your March 24th letter, it was clear he had some genu genuine concerns about what you had said and done to that point. Can we move to another topic? Yeah, his concerns was he wanted more out. And I, I would analogize it to this. My, you know, after after a you know months long trial, if 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 I wanted to go out and get out to the public what the verdict was, pending preparation of the full transcript, and I'm out there saying here's the verdict, and the prosecutor comes up and taps me on the shoulder and says, well, the verdict doesn't really fully capture all my work. How about that great? you know, cross-examination I did, or how about that third day of trial where I did that? This doesn't capture everything. My answer to that is I'm not trying to capture everything. I'm just trying to state the verdict. No, you just absolutely used the word summarize, though, in your letter. Summarize the principal conclusions. Principal conclusions, which most people would view as a summary. You we describe the volume, report in four pages, and it's a 400-page report. I don't know why you're cavilling about whether because it's a summary I, Because or I state in the letter that I'm stating the, the uh, principal conclusions. You know, Bob Mueller is the equivalent of a U.S. attorney. He was exercising the powers of the attorney general subject to the supervision of the attorney general. He's part of the Department of Justice. His work concluded when he sent his report to the attorney general. At that point, it was my baby, and I was making a decision as to whether or not to make it public, and I effectively overrode the regulations, used discretion to, to lean as far forward as I could, could to make that public, and it was my decision how and when to make it public, not Bob Mueller's. Bears on it, and that it would be unfair to the president to put him to the burden of being indicted and not having the ability to be charged. I don't want to carry.